tonight, we peer behind the veil and glimpse the unanswered questions. Unanswered questions. 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 Hey guys, welcome back to another talk about weird stuff. Uh, so, I was thinking how, like, there's also a lot of you know, unexplained or strange things every day in our mundane lives that we don't put a lot of thought into, or they've been explained away in such weird ways that, like, are mundane ways that I don't buy it, uh, such as things like coincidences. Um, if you're, like, familiar with statistics and numbers and uh, quantum mechanics to any degree, then you you begin to feel like uh, coincidences are less coincidence, if that makes sense. Um, not to imply any sort of religious aspects to anything, but like, just to say that like, what is that? That's weird. Um, synchronicity, uh, I like to think of things as like, there are like, you know, the old saying, there are no coincidences. Um, it's, I find in my experience that sayings, old phrases, cliches that have been around for a long time usually exist for a reason and they actually have a really deep, simple meaning that like has been lost over time. And I think that this might be one of those cases um, because synchronicities are very strange. Like, I, I don't know about you because I, you know, we only experience our own lives as they as we experience them. And then, you know, we hear about other people's experiences and then you have to judge that versus like what your experience is and what you know and what you think and believe and blah, blah, blah. So like I can only base this off my personal experience. But in my experience, in my life, I've had so many strange synchronicities, coincidences, like moments, like so many to the point that like I could not even like I can kind of point out a few of them specifically, but like. It got to a point in my very early, early 20s, late teens, where I was like, huh, this is weird. This happens all the time to me. Um, I've come to believe in the idea that synchronicity is uh, sort of the universe's way of like letting you know you are exactly where you're supposed to be if you're paying attention. Um, it might also be one of those like periodelia things where like, when you look for patterns or you look too much into things, you will find what you're looking for if you look for it hard enough. And it's hard to tell, but then when you take it on a grand scale, it's, it's you know, like, okay, well, I'm not the only one who experiences these things and I'm not the only one who's, you know, made an awareness of it because there's tons of material and research out there about the subject and the phenomenon that stretches back forever. So it means it's part of our reality and our nature. So like, what is it? Um, another strange thing that I find related is like the, uh, in medicine, you have the uh, placebo effect. And of course, that is where you're given a substance and told that it has an effect and then it uh, has that effect on you. However, the substance they gave you was not what they said. It was a placebo. It was something, you know, it was just, sh it's, oh, you, usually it's just sugar pills is what they say. Which implies then that your brain and your body have the ability to create a healing or a, you know, it has the ability to do it itself if it believes hard enough, which is, you know, Something that, again, harkens back to a cliche and something we're always told. Oh, if you believe in something hard enough, it can come true. Or, you know, if you pray hard enough, if you concentrate on something enough, it becomes reality. Which is like an overlying theme throughout the universe or throughout the nature of our reality. But just on scales that we don't always recognize. Uh, but I just thought that was weird. Uh, or at least, you know, it's one of the aspects of life that is weird i mean obviously you know bigfoots and aliens and shit are cool and like that is something to you know question but at the same time like it's not tangible yet 
Like, nobody's caught a Bigfoot, and then we have now the body to go, okay, what the fuck is this? All we have is stories, blurry pictures, and experiences, so we can go, oh, that's kind of strange, that's weird, whatever. I wonder what that is. But we can't, like, actually take it apart. It's not tangible yet. Uh, UFOs and aliens, sort of the same thing. Like, we don't have any super definitive tangible in our hands, at least publicly in our hands, you know, proof. So until we do, it's still, it it's in the realm of what if, even if the probabilities of it are higher and higher and higher. Uh, it's still uh, ultimately at this point, what if. However, there are things that, like I said, happen every day that you know we pass up as opportunities to go wait what the heck is that um is it just a you know a condition of our brains and the way they fire neurons and and everything and and the way it's structured and built um that's that's what most uh i guess you would say science or medical or psychology has pretty much said when it comes to those things that it's just you know, deja vu is just a misfiring of a neuron and it causes you to sort of remember a moment as it's happening at the same time, which makes sense. It does. You're like, oh, okay, yeah, that kind of makes sense. If I were to like remember something like it already happened, but while it's happening, then I'm going to feel like, oh, I've already done this. I just did this, didn't I? Um, but I've had some deeper deja vu than just that. Like, I've had some deja vu where it, you know, it really made me question reality for a moment because I, I overthink everything. So therefore, when something like deja vu or synchronicity or coincidence happens, I'm already tearing it apart. Like I'm not, I'm not looking for UFOs. I'm not looking for the thing that I'm trying to find. I'm trying to tear apart what is there already. So when I experience something, you know, I'm already dissecting it. I'm not like, oh, I saw a UFO. Uh, the few times that I've seen something questionable, even to this day, I cannot tell you I've seen a UFO. Like, I've seen something I didn't know what it was, and it very well could have been, you know, anything under the category of unidentified and flying and an object. But I have yet to see the definitive version of a like, oh, this thing was a craft and it stopped and I could see details. I've never seen that. But I have had insanely deep like deja vus. I have had astral projection uh, when I was younger. Um, that's something I'll get into later because that's another thing that falls into the same category as dreaming. And what our brain is capable of doing, which is, you know, again, why... A lot of these things are just chalked up to like, oh, your brain is not working right or your brain fired something weird and that's what caused you to feel this or this to happen. And that's very, like I've said, very, very likely. But at the same time, it does not account for every single type of phenomenon or incidents for each person. Uh, so there's a ton more that could be talked about here. Um, I don't. You know, this isn't like a podcast format yet. Maybe it'll evolve eventually into a longer, longer form. But I like to just keep these short um, until I start getting more views and comments on the on the the videos relating to the subject and sharing ideas and thoughts. Um, and maybe they'll get longer. But as of now, I, I, I try to keep these under, you know, under 30 minutes for sure, unless it's something really in depth. Um, and then, you know under 15 minutes if I can. Uh, so at this point, I just say, you know, those, those are some weird things I think about. If you have any other sort of like experiences or mundane weird things <clears throat> that, excuse me, that you think I missed and you're, you know, you're like, Hey, I think about this every day or whatever. Uh, you know, throw it in the comments. Uh, like I've said before, I have a discord channel and on there, uh, there's always segment, like there's segments for everything I do in my, on my channel. So, uh, this is another one where it's like, this is a great spot, a uh, great place to have discussions is on discord. Uh, I recently started a Reddit because I found out how to do that. And so that there's an R slash, you know, Higgs boson, Higgs II boson. And, uh, that's another great place to like share all kinds of information and stories and whatnot. So um, that's it. 
as far as that goes, uh, life is weird. There's a lot of weird things that happen on a daily basis. And sometimes if you're paying attention, you see them. And maybe that's why you think they're weird. I don't know. Let's talk about it though, right? So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you haven't already and you're into this sort of thing, subscribe. If you're here because one of my other videos and you're not subscribed, then hit that subscribe button, guys. You know, I don't ask for much. I'm not a huge channel, but maybe one day, right? Got to start somewhere. So uh, pass it around. Like, subscribe, share. You know, all the old school stuff. I uh, love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.